Shakur, 28 years of age, from Mexicali, Baja California, Mexico. Both men looking to put on a show here at 130 pounds. Benicourt, 26 and 2 with 13 knockouts. So, sort of a crossroads matchup between Victor Benicourt and Jaime Arboleta of Panama. So you have two countries that are entrenched in rich boxing tradition. Yeah, both these guys, man, like you said, come from countries of rich tradition, man. It's, it's wonderful. Good fight, good, good to see these guys go at it. Let's break down the numbers. Our first matchup here on FS1 between Jaime Arboleda and Victor Betancourt. Well, look, we have a uh, five inch difference in height, but the reach is the same. Uh, we see that Victor Benicourt is the professional for about four years more than Jaime. But everything else is pretty much on. So, I think we're going to get a good fight out of these guys. The numbers seem pretty even. The records seem pretty even. Let's see what they do. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the Burt Ogden Arena here in Edinburgh, Texas. We are live for PBC Fight Night on FS1. We begin the action 10 rounds in the Super Featherweight Division, and it's all brought to you by Pantarita Promotions along with TGB Promotions. Your three judges scoring our opening bout at ringside will be David Avalos, Luis Escalona, and Hector Maldonado. And your referee charge when the bell sounds is Tony. Got see Introducing first, fighting Akal, the red quarter. He comes in wearing the colors of Mexico. Red, white, and green. Weighing officially at the limit, 130 pounds. His record, 26 wins. 13 of those coming by way of knockout against two losses. There's the Mexicali, Baca, California, Mexico. Ladies and gentlemen, Damas y Caballeros presentando Victor Benincourt. And across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the blue corner. He comes in wearing the green and blue, weighing in officially at 130 pounds. In 15 professional bots, his record is nearly perfect. 14 wins, a dozen lows coming by way of knockout against one blemish. Joining us from Kurundu of Panama. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Jaime Little James Arboleda. Come over here, please. Venga para acá, por favor. Bueno, muchachos. Ya se le leyó el, 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 el reglamento en los camerinos. Solo me resta decirles que les exijo una pelea buena y limpia. Esa es la mano cierta para los dos. It's our opening matchup. If you would like to hear the broadcast in Spanish, click over to the simulcast on Fox Deportes. Ray Forrest, the Hall of Famer, Ray Mancini, Austin Trout, Jordan Harney, and Marcos Viegas. Jaime Arboleda, Victor Benicourt, starting off tonight here on FS1. A matchup at 130 pounds. Arboleta training out under the tutelage of oh. Herman and Caicedo. This is their first fight together. They've only been together training for six weeks. Caicedo very high on Arboleta. For Victor Benincourt, his trainer is his father, Victor Benincourt Sr. Big right hand over the top for Jaime Arboleta. First loss for Agboleta, Keem, 11 fights into his pro career. Said he took, he was 10 pounds above the scheduled limit that they were supposed to fight, but he wanted the matchup anyway, which is why he decided to take that fight. And he was stopped by a recce delay over two years ago in California. You know, since then, a lot of has happened since then. It, this, this is a terrific fight for both guys. It's a step up, it's a witness fight, got a chance to make it to the next level. And, uh, I like what I see both guys so far. I like uh, what guy's pressing the action, and the guy's you keep his hands up, boxing beautifully. Again, it's a stylistic matchup. And Ray, since that loss that Arboleda had, he has responded well, as you mentioned, eight straight wins by Naka. Uh, he definitely took that loss and uh, it learned from it and seemed to, to tie it up. One thing that his uh, trainer says that he's got the hunger for it. He sleeps in the gym. 
He, he's okay with living in the gym. If he needs to. Good uppercuts. Both guys love talk. Now for betting court, his original trainer, Manny Robles, is not here. That's why his father is his lead trainer. And Manny Robles is quite busy because he is now, he works with Andy Ruiz, heavyweight champion of the world. Nice left hook by Bob Acolenda, though, shook up Bettencourt with a left upstairs. Seemed to hurt Bettencourt. Select combinations that, oh, well, there we go. And down the shots. Goes Bettencourt. Body shots cause that. Four. Body shots cause that. Four. Six. Seven. Yeah, get up. Eight. Nine. Oh, okay. Okay. He literally beat the count oh. by one. And Acolenda goes right back on the offensive. Can he get the finish against Bettencourt? I put it a big right hand to the body. Oh my yeah. goodness. Yeah. Tony got to see it. We'll see if Benicourt can hold on for these last 35 seconds. You know, Acro Belay. Oh, oh. And there is a big shot down. down goes Benicourt. Oh, and I'm going to let them finish oh, off Benicourt with a first round knockout here in South oh, Texas. Did not see that coming. That was impressive. That was impressive. That is a statement. Talk about a perfect unison with Adboleta and Herman Cansado, his new trainer. Let's take a look at those knockdowns again. Here's the first one. He snuck that body shot right in. Perfect placement of that uppercut. That was beautiful. Here's a look at the last and last, final knockdown. Good overhand that maybe is what put him down, but it was the body shots before that really got him. Right, right here, I'll tell you what, them shots. So he reminds me of another great Panamanian champion, Yusubio Pedroza. God rest his soul. This reminded me of a lot of them way through them punches. The good shot to the body, the good shot to the head. I think it was the overhand that really put him down, but he was hurt by the body shots that happened right before that last before he started. And there the adulation for Jaime Arboleta, now 15 and 1. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes 2 minutes 32 seconds of our opening round. Referee in charge, Tony Garcia, waves off the contest for your winner by technical knockout, Jaime Little James Arboleta. So Jaime Arboleda elevates his record to 15 and one, and gentlemen, he can very much be a big problem at 130. Absolutely, his stock just rose tremendously with that performance. He's gonna be a headache for any of those guys. You just said his stock has risen. This kid's on the climb. I'd like to, he'll, if he, one more or two more fights, he'll be red line for a title shot. Absolutely, he only has 15, 16 fights, you know? That's, that's great, he's very good.